What up nerds, this is five free plugins I use every single time I open After Effects. This video is brought to you by Orange Juice, but just a little bit, cause I already drank the rest. Oh, that's good. That's some good orange juice. Okay, starting off with Ease and Wiz, this is one of my favorite plugins. It's super handy and it is a choose your own price kind of plugin. Let me show you how it works. Here we are in After Effects, I just have a basic animation, text entering screen, text leaving screen. You may be familiar with Easy Ease, that's when you select your keyframes, right click and go to frame assist and then Easy Ease. And that's a really nice way to just smooth out that motion. But if we head over to the window tab and open Ease and Wiz, select position, Ease and Wiz gives you a variety of movement equations that you can use. So personally, I just like to use the exponential and we're gonna apply it to our in and out and all keys and hit apply. And that will actually add a script, but we don't need to go into that. All we need to know is how to apply them. And here's the final output. Now to some people, you might not be able to tell the difference, but it's a little bit more snappier and punchier, but you get that precise exponential movement. You can create a variety of different motions without having to touch any keyframes or using the graph. If you want to use Ease and Wiz on anything that is a mask, you'll just want to make sure you hit this box before you hit apply and you should be good. Moving on, the next plugin I use all the time is Ease Copy. Let's say you created a very specific Ease animation in the graph editor, and you wanted to apply that exact same Ease to another layer. So for example here, I can click on the keyframes on our Ease Copy layer, copy those keyframes, hop over to my next layer and paste the same Ease. So if we take a look at our graph editor, it is exactly the same on the two animations. This can be good if you don't want to parent your layers or if you want to have them offset a little bit so that they come in just at different times you can just keep that continuity between your layers. Super handy, I promise at some point you will probably want to use this. This next one's a small one, but it's super useful. It is reposition anchor point. It's just a super quick way to allow you to move your anchor point around without affecting any of the positioning of your layer or anything. It's just super handy. It just allows you to reposition your anchor point. Uh, usually when you create a layer, your anchor point is in some weird position, usually the center of the screen. Uh, you can just hit that center button or reposition and you're good to go. Just super handy, one of those little quality of life things. Also, I should mention the guy who created this plugin also has a bunch of other little utility plugins you can download as well. Would highly recommend checking those out. Okay, next up is Text Evo, which I just realized I don't even have the newest version. I have the old version. So I'm gonna have to update mine. But it looks like they added a new UI and some new controls, but it essentially allows you to easily add animations to your text. Let me update real quick and we'll jump into it. So I remember the first time I used Text Evo, I was a little confused because I was clicking buttons and nothing was really happening. So let me show you how to do this. So we want to start by selecting our text layer. Then we're going to add Text Evo, and then we're going to come back down to our layer here, open up Text Evo, go to Transform, and make some sort of effect here. So let's try Scale. Let's put the scale down to, let's say, 50. Now, if we play in our timeline, we're going to see the text kind of like scaling up one at a time. And right now it is based on letters. But let's say we wanted it based on words. We could go up to here and go to change based on mode. Um, and we can have it based on words. Let's see how that looks. So now it's going to change your animation for just words. Now to do this kind of animation without text evo, it's a little bit more complicated. You have to add an animator to your text and then uh, use your range selector to select your words or the, the text. But this way I could just keep updating it and it's gonna stay constant. I can make changes to our text and everything still works. I highly recommend checking out text evo. All right, next up we have the effects console. This plugin is created by Video Copilot, but regardless of what kind of work you are doing in After Effects, this plugin is very useful for everyone. So you don't have to be doing crazy VFX. That's all I was trying to say. Effects Console allows you to pull up a search bar that will allow you to find any sort of plugin or effect that you can add to your layer. All you want to do is make sure you have your layer selected, hit Control Space, the search bar pops up. Uh, we're going to type in Saber, which is also another free plugin, bonus plugin for this video. Let me just quickly set this up. And, ju and just like that, we can just quickly apply any effect to a layer. Also, this Saber plugin, it's pretty fun. Another cool thing you can do with Effects Console is save your frame to your clipboard. So you pull it up and just hit this download button and go to copy to clipboard, and then you can paste it anywhere. Or you can just download as a PNG or a JPEG. Cool, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little After Effects video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for the next one. I will see you next time.